some more Pharaonic logos of uh, enterprises with the inverse pyramid and uh, even the A is like almost like a pyramid a little bit longer the V of the temple is a bit longer so you know it you know Pharaohs rule the world and the base of Switzerland yeah, look at the pyramids you have to it's called prox entry you have to uh, put your badge you know to get in here but look at how it is protected it's wow, what a nice tree <clears throat> it's enormously protected and what is it protecting yeah, look at that building look at all the antennas on it the look at that. What is this? You know? Some sort of government shit? Pharaoh? Me. I'm just sleeping there. I hear the guys like in the morning coming in through this door. I'm straight up, you know, what's that? You know? Wow, what a nice tree. Beautiful. Pharaohs. Me. Okay, baby boss. Oh, that's horrible, isn't it? Horrible. Depicting a baby like a little little devil, you know? Dreamworks. Well, it's more like a uh, a nightmare. So this means, you know, if you have a baby, you know, it's horrible, you know, it will ruin your life. It will be the boss, it will be di dictating your life. So don't make any children. We only make children like in, uh, out of a test tube, you know, which is almost like here. And all, we're going to make homos and transsexuals and, you know, don't make any babies. Because, you know, it's... Babies are a product of society. They are the uh, they belong to Pharaoh. <clears throat> they don't belong to the parents. You know they can they can just take them away if they want. So only the Pharaohs might might may uh, reproduce. This is the whole idea behind it. You know it's all subliminal, horrible, really horrible. How can you depict a baby like this? Devils. If you got ants in the house, then just trap them with some sugar water, like here. Look, there's some more sugar water, but they don't go into the plate. Just like on the floor, you know, and it's stone anyway. You know, so. Just as if you want to trap Swissy, the Swiss, trap them with gold and money, and they'll come, you know. And then you put the thumb down like a Roman emperor and then squeeze them all. Squeeze them all. Bye bye, Swissy. Bye bye. We're gonna squeeze you all, yeah? And God will punish you and Allah too for all the crimes you did against humanity. Your time will come, Swissy. There you go, you know, you're just like an insect, you know, squeeze you all, just squeeze you all, Swissy. From the face of the earth, we don't need you, your humanity don't need you, Swissy. You only bring wars in to, the, to mankind. Oh, bye bye Swissy. God will punish you.
It's an interesting little device, you know, to catch it. You know, it's like you see this. Close up with this thing here. So look, this is very occult. It's like Baphomet, one hand up and the other hand down. What's up is up and what's up is down and what's down is up. Um, it's also like with his legs spread and the uh, the pyramid is like the uh, the square and compass. Here it says um, here it says air. And um, the inverse pyramid, um, it's, it stands for death actually and it also stands, some people say, uh, for water, it's the elements, and the other pyramid stands for fire, I think. And well, it's, it's very occult. You can count these things, you get to a certain number, you count them all up, these the stripes. Uh, very occult. Why is he only why is he only showing three fingers here? What what what's what's wrong with what happened to the to the fourth finger? You see his thumb here. Weird. So this is Jordan, the basketball player. I think it's uh, isn't he a queer with his earrings and everything? I think he is, eh? He went to the dictator in North Korea, didn't he? Some trucks here, the petrol station here, you can see the Templars B with the inverse pyramid. That's not a coincidence. Here it says Per E A. Per it's the uh, it's the house of Pharaoh, the royal house, and it is in red. It's not a coincidence, it's red and white and blue. Red is the old world's order, white is the new world's order, here's the Templars V. And a little why, why they put the red dot in it, you know? Five, why? Fifty? The whole world. It's all Templars. They you know, pharaohs, everything belongs to them. So here in Brignol in the south of France it says Maison Blanche. It means the White House. But why, if you ask me, why does a White House have a red roof? Because this these are the original pharaohs of the Père Tasser of the Upper Egypt, red, like the Templars who came together in Strasbourg, you know, and this is the area where I filmed here a lot of Templars uh, commanderies, Maison Blanche, it means the White House. So there's the White House with the red roof and Brad Pitt or Brad Peter as they call him here, he's doing, living just here down the road here. So here in uh, where the Brad Pitt castle is next to it, where the Tempest Commander is here, uh, this guy here, <laughs> the French and the English flag, uh, they just invite, they invited me for a cup of tea. Well, I invited myself actually, that's what I do. And he told me he was a policeman in, with the dogs in England and a 19th degree mason. A French gendarme told me the same thing yesterday, that uh, the, friend, the Freemasons are very much in the police. Oh, they're the, uh, they're the Knights of the King, really. So here I made it into some sort of a Tibetan monastery in the middle of nowhere. See all this little flag here. You can have a sort of a pro old castle here, whatever. Uh, they haven't finished the pyramid yet. Some crowns there. Oh. Yes. Looks very peaceful here. Wonder what it says, eh? So I'm here inside the temple. The Tibetan temple. So I just talked to that lady there who spent four, more than 40 years, years here. The monastery has been here since 1964, in the hippie times, yeah. And she told me the, um, the Templars castle there, or, or there was only a Templars um, chapel. And the, cha the Templars were there, and you know, the sort of the holy, um, the Ark of the Covenant was supposed to be there. Um, 
since 1945 he belongs to the Swiss. There you go. Always the Swiss. Always. They got the money. They look very well to that, that they got all the money. Well, she didn't look very happy, the woman. Sad. Wasting your life here. Yeah. So in this uh, Tibetan-like monastery I was at, it says it was even a, uh, a Templar's uh, farm in there. They, they're just everywhere, the Templars. And this is just in a region called Picardy, which is not very big. It's full of Templars. Yeah, they were everywhere. Uh, really big. So there were like uh, French noblemen who became Teutonic in Switzerland. They became the Teutonic Knights and like disappeared. Nobody wanted to hear any more of the um, uh, the French noblemen. Noblemen. Mais ils vont venir. Ils vont venir. Oui, va, va, oui, va, va les chercher la carabine. Oui. Pourquoi pas? Oui, vas-y, vas-y. Oui, vas-y, vas-y. Oui, va les chercher, oui. Vas-y, rachète ça. Oui, ne me touche pas. Oui, j'appelle la police maintenant. Oui, vas-y, vas-y, faites-le. Et moi, je t'attends en bas avec le camion. Mais je viens avec Jean-François, oui. Another lake here in the French Alps. It's called Serponçon Lac, the lake of Serponçon. Yo. Looks too much like Switzerland there, I bet. So I'm not going to stay too long here. Yeah. It's like Switzerland. Forget about it. All the chalet. In the Alps, in France, still snow topped. Hello. Oh, on your lights in the sky. I guess they're candles, you know, with a fire in it. So, no UFOs. Get it. Fascinating, like from a James Bond movie. So here on this church you see the checkerboard um, configuration of the Freemasons and on the other side there's the symbol of the Templars, Templars Cross. So out of the Templars rose the Freemasons and this is a pyramid, it's a fold-out pyramid. So here is their military order with the sun in the middle. And here is their political wing, Freemasons, who control us all. And the worldwide Freemason web, they get the orders of the, uh, the base of all evil Switzerland, the home of the Templars. But okay, it's a very nice church, it's lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's so beautiful, yeah, really, yeah, great, man. You think all these, you know, these blokes are doing here, you know, or is it? All like disappearing here, like in the forest, you know. Yeah, all waiting here in the cars, like that fat one here. And uh, there are the sisters there, yeah. yeah it's always. Yeah, fat one here. It's always around the church, you know. Freemasons, Templars, all these homos there, you know. Horrible. Well, I'm just enjoying myself, you know, just enjoying the view. And... Ah, disgusting. They're all disappearing there in the forest, you know. Look, and Garniers. Loads of cars there. The forest full of it. There's some gypsies camping out here. 
<clears throat> Whole families. Oh, just sitting there, you know? just walking around. All next to the church, the base of evil. Gypsy families. <laughs> Pretending to read, they can't, you know. Oh. So, this is Annecy. Pharaoh of Annecy, next to Switzerland. Right oh, here in Annecy, next to the Swiss border from 1710. The door with the Swiss cross on it. Now they're all ethnic Swiss around the border from Switzerland. Yeah, look, we're absolutely heading for a war here. It says go to Afghanistan and you know, uh, and, uh, uh, defy your limits. And here it says here, uh, your We're heading for a war, it's all over. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. I'm here in France, these are the Vogesian mountains here in France. I'm about 20 k's away from the base of all evil. That's the Black Forest in Germany. The Rhine is like before. And there's the base of all evil. That view is about... Um, I don't know, 300 kilometers away at least. Magnificent, magnificent view. That's Switzerland, all that. The base of all evil. That's where they are. Yeah. Before when I was hitchhiking, like on the, uh, the motorway, I wanted to get away from the petrol station. You know, you want to go on as quick as possible. Now there's uh, Wi Fi, you know. So I'm sitting here watching videos, business pro Wi-Fi. I'm sitting here for hours. <laughs> I don't get away anymore. What a difference. Looking at some YouTube videos. <laughs> and uh, having my scoff here. Nobody says anything. I had my uh, I still have an egg in my bag. So I got some little mayonnaise things, which is just lying around here, you know, with a tube. Put them on it. Having a good time. Business pro. Pro all right, eh? And it says, go join the French Navy. Well, it, it literally says, uh, um, take a step into your future. Well, it looks like a tomb to me. You know, the height, they're, they're gearing up for war, you know, that's clear and they want to put back the military service oh, it's election time for the president in France next week this guy just came out of nowhere well I mean look at him it's, uh, Swissy here hey look um, this one here which I've shown you oh, I think I did um, in a French magazine with the Swiss flag and look they're using exactly the same uh, posters like the Swiss do. The Swiss only with a uh, uh, using a Swiss flag and this is with a French flag underneath. Look. This is Ordo Ab Cao. You know, first they make a lot of chaos and now they want to make order, bring the concentration camps back and all that, you know. Yeah, look, there's this thing again. I put it, you know, I, with which you can make a swastika, the Swiss cross, the octagon, uh, etc. I, I made that in the film, uh, the neutral base of the, of the master race, with some music. And I filmed it in 3D, which I never saw before in my life. I filmed it in 3D in, uh, on the Templars Commandery of Perasol. There, there, there it is. Same thing. Oh, they know what they're doing here. This is sort of a uh, sort of a weird complex here. 
I sneaked in here in the night and I, you know, I slept there behind the bushes with my tent here. I have no idea what it is. They're all blackened out windows. It says clinical di diagnostics here. Oh, why in English? And bloody a European support centre. Well, what is this? Weird, man. So let's go out see what it is. So the road, like leading to that mother piece, you know, it also it can also make the uh, uh, the NATO symbol. Here it says they've got a whole, you know, they can easily transform this here into a, uh, a roadblock here. Yeah, Templars, Templars symbol here in the middle, of course, two times. Uh, what, what is this? It's really weird. Uh, here, the uh, checkerboard uh, of the Freemasons, just in the middle of no, nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a public road. Uh, that's me. What do you want? Look, in this logo they put two times the Templars V. And it is octagonal if you put a line around it. <laughs> no, they know what they're doing. Right. Oh, yeah. Half net. Oh, what is that? I'm sorry, it's not octagonal, it's, uh, it's a hexagon. Six pointed star. Well, the sun here a so these ones know the war will be starting very soon and they make a better chance with that symbol on the on the front of the house. So some Frenchies uh, invited me and uh, look how beautiful it is here. This is amazing. Wow. Where is it now? Got it. Wow, I slept so good here in the water the whole night. A little bloody snake under the water here. Look here, that is a snake. See it? Here in France. There's another endless French lake. It's, 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 well you see the end there, it's, it's three times longer probably. So, there's hardly anybody here. It's all in the middle of a forest here, in the east of France. It's called Lac de Vouglan, in a place called the Jura. That's old Celtic language, it means the, uh, the, bla the black forest, like in Germany. Endure money. Me. So I'm hitchhiking up with the cows here, like. Tu fais comme la vache? Yay! Nice place to put the tent up. Incredible. It's all like, you know, like uh, all, all trees all around, you know, like a little, a little oasis next to the lake. Now there's an airplane, no cam trail. And at the same time, there's one here. Okay. At the same time. And the other one just before was nothing. So this lake here in the east of France is 35 kilometers long. All forest around here. 
only forest. Gorgeous, gorgeous water. Is it water? It's going around the corner as well, it's going there. Amazing. Okay, Templars Cross on the church in Moiron, where the lake is. So there's on this church here there are no signs, no but, but it's must be an ancient Templars church here. I walked around it, there's nothing, no tourist information, nothing. Probably the real deal. So here on the other side of this church, there's some odd looking symbols here. So this is probably the entrance, especially these symbols here. Look at this bloke here, and it's a weird, it's an odd building, probably Freemasons. What is this? Coat of arms. Uh, especially this one here, look at this one here. Here it comes, look at it. Yo, pentagram. Looks like a very old building here. Probably Freemasons in it. Oh, here's the place where the women used to wash their clothes and all that. Oh. Yeah. <clears throat> here said, says there was a castle up here and uh, the Saracens were here in the 9th century. You know, Sar, Ra, Sin. Sar, it means the king, like in the sarcophagus. Ra is the sun god, Abderam, the Arabs. So this guy is not a normal Arab, he's a, a pharaoh, an Ar aristocrat, yeah. It says here, the seigneur, the lord. <clears throat> so this is about the height of Geneva. So this is how far the Arabs came. That was in the 9th century. And as a reaction of, to this, the, the Crusades uh, started. Yeah, so it's not like the Arabs say now that the uh, Europeans, they just started a crusade just out of nothing. No, they came before and they attracted some serious shit to themselves. But anyway, there, was, there were of course also the Templars and the Templars treasures, as I already told you, another reason. Yeah. Pharaoh, me. Another nice lake here in the east of France, uh, clairvaux le lac Very nice. Nice beach. An octagon here in a library in clairvaux le lac It's a library, see? Get this reading. It's like entering the CIA office, like here, you know, like Langley. You know. Oh, look at that. So now it makes sense. It's not only, well, they don't have any more libraries. They call it Mediatek nowadays. But it's also, this is the mayor's office. Mary, the mayor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll show you. It says Mary. So, of course, yeah. This says Mary, the French flag and all that. So of course they got this octagon symbol here. Oh, it's a baby viper, but they got the, still the same amount of poison as a big one. Ui, mm. target. So somehow nobody are they going? Somehow nobody wants to stop here, you know, with these two blokes here next to me. So I'm hitchhiking here. Should have filmed them before. They're having Heckler and Koch guns because they're not German anymore. It belongs to British Aerospace, which belongs to the, uh, to the British, British Royal House. Uh, look, some caterpillars or they ate a hole in my tent. I don't think they would do it like, you know, if my tent is standing up, but when it's packed in, they want to get out, you know, if it's packed in in my backpack. They want to get out. 
they, they eat a hole, they ate a hole in my tent. So, no, if it starts raining, it gets all wet. Eh? Incredible. Well, it's green. My tent, for them, my tent is like, like a nice leaf. Well, it's nice weather. So I'm here in the middle of uh, yeah, some the meadow here. Yeah. Nobody can see me, I hope. Got a snake on the road here in France. It's just been run over. Dead. So I told you on the roundabouts, you know, they put all these secret symbols, and this is Horus, the falcon, in silver. You know, they like to do it like this, you know, and they're ruling the world. Pharaohs, always on a on a roundabout. Hello, Horus. Those French guys waiting for me, hitchhiking. I'm here next to an area which is called the Vercors. I'm next to Grenoble. Uh, as you can see, it's all of mountains here. And in the... Um, quite majestic. Excuse me. And in the uh, 1944, just before the, uh, the landings in D-Day, in Normandy, the French resistance had real tank battles with airplanes and everything against the Germans and um, uh, so to withdraw a couple of German divisions from Normandy into here in uh, Le Vercors that's about the only place the resistance really had battles going on here in France against these mountain dudes here all over you see yeah. Next, not very far from Switzerland. Don't think the Swiss did anything to help them, eh? Oh, no, 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 no. They had to come from Britain, you know, with guns and airplanes to, uh, to, pa to parachute some, some goodies into the, um, for the resistance, yeah. So, see, France is really beautiful. Thank God they're all heaped up in, you know, big cities like Paris and Bordeaux and Lyon. Yeah, look, that's us, the sheeple. <laughs> what? You know, this one here looks like, a, it looks like a wolf, you know, a wolf's head. So guess how many there are? I tell you, six on a roundabout. There's a couple of more here. That's how they see us. And there's one more, you know, there's one here. There's the other four there behind. Yeah. And this is in the place called Cisteron, where I filmed that pyramid of the, uh, the rooster, you know, with some uh, pyramids on his feet. So that's Cisteron, Isisteron, Isisteron. And this is us, or well, one of them. Well, actually, this is them, you know. And all the people are turning around here, the roundabout, so everybody sees it. It's always on a roundabout. I'm sure if I count the trees for you, I get 33 trees here. And here's a, some sort of a, you know, some sort of a Freemason handshake here. Here, look, the Freemason handshake. Almost, you know, well, that's what it means, you know. Here's the place, Cisteron, Isis. There's even some sacrifice under it. And the inverse pyramid. It's really horrible. Three things getting out behind, like Isis, Horus and Seth. Seth in the middle. This is humanity, you know, like nailed on a cross. But this is beautiful here. Yeah. It says on uh, June 20th, just after D-Day, uh, 
300 SS officers uh, and uh, their might. They, uh, they had a battle going on against the uh, AT systems coming on the French. So, what is that? One on, one on five. The guys deported, Isaac and Fusilier, that means they were shot and those here they died in combat. So here you can see like a valley here, very strategic. Now you, can, you can imagine those guys on top of the mountain, all the SS coming by, you know, passing by and there's, you know, of bullets. I wonder how many uh, SS died the Germans. They, they look like the Ku Klux Klan here, these guys. And this is a very rare church of the, uh, the white penitents, the Penitent Blanc. There was a religious order. Here you see the, uh, the Sun Euroglyph here, a sort of a Freemason Templar, a temple here, a Pharaonic temple. I think the dagger in the, in the, in the heart, it's a symbol of the, of the Gnosticism. Everywhere on the walls there is the, uh, the pentagram. And um, here, everywhere on the walls here, there's the sun hieroglyph as well. In the pharaonic colors, blue, uh, white and uh, red. Uh, very, it's a very small chapel. Of a, uh, these people were wandering. Ah, here we see a Swiss cross here on the floor. I wonder what that is. Hmm. So this is a valley where even Hannibal passed and this, they all drank on this source here where the water is here. Incredible, Hannibal drank here. I just wanted to go and sleep here. You know, there's sort of an oven. I think it's from a monastery. Now, oh. what do I see there? A bloody scorpion. Oh, there it is. Oh, a bloody scorpion. I wanted to lay my head down here. Yeah. Oh, take it away. I'm not going to have. No. Oh, here's another church with the white penitents. Uh, looks like a cook looks clan, eh? Ah, uh, yeah, so the France. With the sun here on cliff. There's the church. What do, they, what do they have to hide, you know? They look like leopards. Or... Oh, there's some more of these ghosts. Yeah. Uh, some more ghosts. Well, they're hiding for country to normal, yeah. So here it says a Jew grave of the 14th century. So that's just after the Crusades, when they all came to Europe, a lot of them. And here it says in Hebrew, well, I can't read it, but uh, you see these letters here, yeah. And apparently it says here, yeah, uh, the Rabbi Joseph, the, the son of Rabbi Nath Nath Nathaniel, Happy memories. Well, well, there down, down there, you can see the French graveyard. Yeah. It's a lot easier there, eh? Look at this here, on the mountain. I mean, uh, you would have been digging here for days, you know, with the nowadays material, you know, hard metals, and try to do that in the Middle Ages. They must have needed weeks weeks you know but of course they didn't they didn't want to, to have a jew down there just fuck off they said yeah fuck off go up the mountain or we'll kill you so i went swimming there yesterday going back there today nice oh yeah so this is in ser S-E-R-R-E-S, -R -R -E in the French Alps. It's quite south. So, the Jew grave. 
14th century in the middle of the mountains. There's probably more. But, uh, yeah. So the fertile lands, the graves, that's for the Europeans down there. Easy to dig, you know, easy to get at. So for the others, you know, the outcasts, they have to do it here. So as they were pushed to go here, you know, to, to, to make a grave, I mean, that doesn't really mean they're the masters of the world, as the Swiss want to let us know. You know? Of course they're not. The masters are down here where it's easy digging, eh? Of course they're not here. You know? Of course they're not the masters of the world. Rubbish. The pharaohs are. And the Europeans are the best, uh, the best slaves, the best warriors, the best alliance with the European women, the witches. Uh, right, this is not the master of the world hiding here. Come on, get out of here. Uh, just think. Uh, it all says. You know. oh, I can't read that. So there was the Jew grave, the Jew tomb, uh, the tombstone, and there's the entire valley here in Serre, in the south of France. And that's where I'm going to have a dip in the pool. Nice. Now look at this bloody pharaoh here. Look at his face. Oh man. I in these days they were not hiding, now they're hiding. This was the old world's order, and now it's the new world's order. There you can read that. Bastards. And they said to the Jew, you fuck off, you go up to the mountain, we don't want you here. Right? So the Jews are not the enemy of mankind, you know, just think, you know. Look, it's from the, f it's the same era. Look at this face, man. Look at Bloody queer too, man, look at his hands. That's why they want queers to get married, you know? Because the bloody pharaohs. So here, man, that's another French lake. Lac de Rio. In the mountains. Very nice. So Frenchy here, who's living there, he took me hitchhiking. It's quite an incredible place. Uh, the guy was an art, an architect. <clears throat> and uh, see, it's all mountains all over. Incredible. So this is the view like all around. Amazing. But what, I, what I wanted to show you is this here, there's a cave here, and a staircase going up there, uh, next to his house. And there were three women living in it uh, for almost four years. And these women, in winter as well, was minus temperatures. And uh, these women were electro-sensible couldn't live anymore in society with all the electro smog. Uh, who are defined like uh, mentally ill normally, but they could live only here in a cave. Until on the other side of the hill, they, uh, they put out an antenna uh, with a very high um, output. So then they had to leave here. From the day they turned it on, uh, they had to. They said, "I can't stand it anymore." Now they're living somewhere else um, under the earth. There's about thousand people in France who are electrosensible. And there were normal people before. One of them was a air hostess, a stewardess. The other one um, was cleaning, a cleaning lady. Uh, 
Yeah, terrible things going on with all this electro smog. They're killing the bees with it, everything, the dolphins. Yeah. So he's a, he's a nice guy. He let them live here for three and a half years. Every day he brought the bucket full of shit up and down. Yeah. Terrible. Bye bye humanity. Nice little French lake. Lac de Rio. Beautiful. And the French. Provence. Look, there's another homeless guy there. Uh, look at the thick winter jacket he's having. I'm walking around, you know, in my in my shorts. Um, that's all. Um, only my short and my sandals. Look at the bags he's having. I saw him today. I saw his bags were full of empty bottles. You know, and I saw him walking around. He's got about six bags there. So he carries the bags 100 meters further up, and then he gets the next pair of bags and he brings them also 100 meters further down and then he gets the last the, the third pair of uh, of his bags and brings them up there and then he starts all over again with uh, with the first pair of bags I tell you folks this is a typical MK Ultra experiment he looks like an ex-soldier maybe typical seen hell and they do this brainwashing experiment with him, you know, to put it in the hard disk, in his hard disk to do this crazy thing, you know. So to stay on the on the safe side, from now on, I'll I'll throw all my empty bottles away so they can't happen to me. <laughs> Joking. Uh, next to a war statue here. So Pharaoh's products, me. Sandals. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm almost naked, and the guy's there in a winter jacket. A lot of walking here. Endless roads. Oh. little girl probably with a bicycle you know nine years old you, you can't leave your children on a bike here maybe a tourist like on a bike you know they're driving like mad Frenchies very aggressive the French are very aggressive people on the road uh, yeah, it's like Mr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde Dr. Jekyll you know? oh. piece of farmland here. The farmers are okay, you know, in, in France, not in Switzerland. They don't say anything here. They even come and say hello, you know. And I just had a dip in somebody's swimming pool here, since the thing is under construction anyway. Pharaoh there, me here. I'm going to hitchhike to the motorway, which is somewhere down there. I'm just swimming here in a little lake, you see, next to the motorway in Strasbourg. You know, the bigger the cities, the smaller the lakes. And, well, it's not, it's in the middle of the week, but it must be packed here. Like, the weekend. I'd rather not come here. No, it's still okay. Me. Uh, where's Pharaoh? Must be here somewhere. You want to live in this? Be a slave, you know? Be a sheeple? It's, just, you know, it's like a beehive, or, you know, an ant, an ant hill. Yo, I'd rather put my tent here, and I, and I did. So, there's another one. We're just, they're, they're slaves of the aristocracy that the and you have to pay wages, you know, and, and rent for this. At the end of the month, you've got nothing anymore. 
It's all calculated. At the end of your life, you got nothing anymore. Bye bye, you man. It's hey. Look at the cops, special cops here. They're standing on the bridge here. Because tom tomorrow, there's the. Uh, in the uh, European Parliament, it's this thing about coal. And Bill Clinton is coming here. And all the. You know, they're all, oh, they've got assault rifles. They're coming to me. So. Yeah, well, I'll stop filming. Uh, so they're standing everywhere tomorrow, going to block the whole road. And Cole, he was a criminal. He was very, very corrupt anyway. And a member of Octagon. There's some German and French videos from Arte about the Octagon involvement of Cole. They're all coming here tomorrow. Bloody pyramids, bloody pharaohs. I was just looking for something in my bag here on a petrol station here, you know. And I just had this really big bird here next to me. Big one. I forgot the name, it's the one bringing the babies. What's the name again? So here's some English guys, they're going to Switzerland and they're heading for problems because they've got 1,500 stickers on their car. 2,500! <laughs> oh, it's even worse! <laughs> and there was another one with the police car, well he's, he's heading for prison. Okay, say hi to YouTube guys! Hi YouTube! Go <laughs> steady! Yeah! Now look at the petrol station here, a big octagon. And you see the pyramid is bent here. So these are actually two pyramids and it's, it's bent. It, you know, it has actually eight corners. Well, we found out that because it was uh, an, an airplane during the First World War saw it because of the sun. Well, anyway, Octagon, in the middle of a petrol station here. Uh, amazing. 